Hey everyone, Holden here with Gold Plating Services. Today we're going to be talking about our Bright Palladium solution. Palladium is commonly known as a white gold and is the third or fourth step in the electroplating process. This step can either be a diffusion barrier or a final plate. Today we are going to be talking about attributes of palladium, how to plate with palladium, and how palladium functions as a diffusion barrier and as a final plate. Attributes of palladium. Our bright palladium is the same solution for both brush and bath plating. It is a ready to use solution that is tarnish resistant, very durable, and nickel free. It is applied after an item has been properly electro cleaned and activated. Palladium is often used when the desired finish is a bright white gold. It is part of the rhodium family and is often used as a substitute for rhodium because it's more affordable. There is a slight difference in color between palladium and rhodium but it is usually only noticeable if they are seen side by side. Palladium is a hard metal with a new hardness of 400 compared to hard gold, which ranges from 130 to 200, and soft gold, which ranges from 20 to 90. However, it is not as hard as rhodium, which has a new hardness of 800. The density of metal refers to how tightly the atoms are packed together. Gold, for example, is very dense. This results in a deposit that is quite thin. More solution and time is needed to acquire a thicker plate, compared to other metals that are less dense. Palladium is considerably less dense than gold, which means that the atoms are not packed together so tightly. So it will plate more square inches per gram than gold. For example, one gram of gold will plate about 320 square inches to a decorative thickness, whereas one gram of palladium will plate about 522 square inches to a decorative thickness. Because palladium is quite hard and durable, you will usually not need to plate it as thick as you do when using gold. And because of the density of palladium, you will be using less solution to achieve your desired thickness. Therefore, the bottle you purchase will cover three to four times the surface area as gold and will last you much longer than you expect. And the resulting plate will have excellent longevity. How to plate with palladium. We recommend using a platinum plated titanium bit for brush plating and a bag graphite anode or a platinum plated titanium anode for bath plating. In the bath plating setup, palladium requires agitation for best results. This can be accomplished by various methods. Make sure to begin agitation before turning on the heater of your bath. Agitation allows the solution to heat evenly throughout. Set your temperature to 120 for bath plating and for brush plating, you can use it at room temperature. Be cautious when heating your palladium, as the solution is heat sensitive. If the solution gets too hot, the resulting plate can have a burned or darker look to it. Palladium is also very sensitive to voltage. For bath plating, we recommend 1.5 to 2 volts, with 2 being optimal. And for brush plating, we recommend 3.5 volts. The average time for plating with palladium is about 15 to 30 seconds, for a normal decorative plate. Plating generally does not exceed two minutes for a heavy vermel plate due to the metallic hardness. Palladium as a diffusion barrier or final plate. As a diffusion barrier, palladium can be plated under gold to prevent oxides from certain metals like copper, steel, or brass from diffusing up through the gold layer. It is also used as a barrier before plating gold onto tin because if gold is plated directly onto the surface of tin, the tin will dissolve the gold. Bright nickel is another solution that is often used as a diffusion barrier. But sometimes nickel is not desirable, such as when there is a concern about nickel allergies, when a certain industry requires a nickel-free process, when the surface cannot be magnetic, or when an item will be regularly exposed to salt. In those cases, palladium is the best choice. It is extremely durable, will not corrode, and is not magnetic like nickel is although it is more expensive than nickel. For a more in-depth look at diffusion barriers and pre-plates, watch our video, What is a Diffusion Barrier? And of course, palladium is often used as a final plate and produces a bright white finish. If you have any other questions about our bright palladium solution, feel free to reach out to us and contact us by our phone or our tech email. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.